treatment developed right here in Utah has been used to help heal Utahns with certain types of recurrent cancer. Now, this therapy uses heat and radiation to destroy harmful cells. It's called hyperthermia. And as Barb Smith shows us in this health alert, while its success was proved during extensive testing at Duke University, it was developed close to home. I'm actually feeling heat at this point. Heat generated by low-level microwaves and closely monitored with computer technology and heat sensors is being delivered deep into Beverly Wright's cancerous tissue. It's just kind of like you was out in the strong sunlight. But unlike sunlight, this 110 degree heat is healing, not damaging. The heating works in a complementary fashion with radiation. Radiation works better in tissues that have enough oxygen. And one of the problems with many tumors is that uh, the blood flow is poor. The heat generated by hyperthermia causes an increased blood flow to the tumor, allowing the radiation to go to work, killing off the harmful cells without harming surrounding tissue. The result is a better chance for a longer life. Two-thirds of patients had a complete response if they were treated with radiation and heat, whereas only one-fourth to one-half had had a good response if they received radiation alone. The hyperthermia treatments also allow doctors to use less radiation, which is especially important when treating patients like Beverly, a 12-year breast cancer survivor, now fighting cancer a second time in the skin beneath her mastectomy. I'm really pleased that there's an intelligent people that can be inspired to invent things that can help us live longer if we want to. Now, Beverly receives radiation daily and heat therapy for one hour twice a week. She says other than being tired, she feels fine. The first Utah patient treated with hyperthermia, a Kaysville woman, is now cancer-free. Now, for more information on this treatment, search GammaWest.com.